Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. In this first ever video at Beat the Clock, we are going to look at the number one most important thing racists should try when they are free skiing. So, first of all, we'll go into the thing that good skiers are all capable of, but maybe are not that aware of its importance. Next up, we will learn how to build our skiing so that eventually we're just smashing every single free run. And then I'll throw a couple of tools at you so you can go ahead and practice right away. Now, before we start, thank you very much for smashing the like button. It really helps out the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. So, there we go. Uh, this is the video that we're gonna have a look at today. Um, very, very good skier. He's not quite European Cup level, but awesome technique, I think. Um, and he really, I think you can really see the thing that I want to point out today. You can see it really well. Uh, so, what to look for when free skiing? That's really the question of the video. And what I want you to pay attention to now is, I want you to pay attention to how much he's finishing each and every turn. And what I mean by that is he's steering out of the fall line, indicated with the arrow right there. He's really going out of the fall line, and this is such an important thing that many, many people don't realize. So, I want you to pay attention to how much the skis in the transition are really going out of the fall line. So, as you can see, already when he's not that having that much speed, he is really, really steering the skis far to this far out to the side, and he's never, never finishing the turn when he's not completely out of the fall line yet. This way, he can control the speed really well. And also he gets amazing angles and you can you can see that yeah you can see that right here he gets really really deep really good angles um, also he's able to make the radius of those uh, those are 30 meter uh, fish uh, GS keys so he's able to make that radius look not that large not as large as as they, they would normally look if you're anything like me, you're probably going to ask, why the hell, Seb, why do you want me to turn out of the fall line? Why should I bother with that when free skiing at all? And the answer is not very simple, so I'll try and explain with a couple of pictures. First of all, we have here pictures where you see that the black line indicates where my outside ski is. Okay? Um, same with the picture, without the skier, obviously. Um, so now we see the black line again, skiing where the outside ski is, and the green line is a very similar line, okay, this is also where the outside ski is, but there's one key difference between the two of them. And the difference is the green line has a much bigger radius, and that means that whoever is skiing on the green line has to leave the skis on the edge a lot longer than whoever skis on the black line. Um, and not many people can actually ski on the black line because that means you have to make the radius very, very short, which means you have to get a lot of angulation. And that is exactly what we're trying to practice, or what we're subconsciously practicing rather, uh, when we are free skiing and looking for the skis to turn quite far out of the fall line, okay? So the point really is to make the turn as short as possible while still carving all the way through the turn. Second part of the video, how do we build up our technique? Like, where do we start and, and how do we do this at all? So um, to answer this question, again, we're going to have a look at the uh, slow motion video. So how do we get there? First of all, start off easy, okay? What do I mean by that? That means start off in a terrain where you feel perfectly comfortable with, okay? So flat, basically, okay? Depending on, and depending on the snow, uh, you go all the way flat or, you know, like a little bit steeper, uh, maybe something like half steep as 
as it is in the video right there. Um, so this is really the first and very, 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 very important thing for you. Okay, so start off easy. Okay, make it easy first so you feel comfortable. Um, and this basically leads into the second part, which is clean edges. Okay, what do I mean by clean edges? I mean, in the very beginning of the turn, you should have very, very, very clean edges. Okay, so you're not skidding, you're not sliding, you're not brushing the turn at all. This will ensure that you carry all the speed possible. Okay, and this will also make the skis bend a lot more, which again shortens the radius, which is exactly what we want. Okay. So now the last part of the video, some tips and tricks. So first up, start in the flat and clean edges each turn. Okay, this is a really, really important point and I want you to remember it. This is why I put it again, just in case you were asking, Seb, why do you put this again? You just, you just explained that in the last minute or so. This is why I want you to remember it. Okay, flat and clean edges. So next up, um, play with the pressure on the outside leg versus the inside leg. That means you should try to maybe put a little more pressure on the outside leg, maybe put a little less pressure on the outside leg, also time it a little differently so you can feel uh, where you're going with this. Um, next up, play with upper body position. What does that mean? Um, that means you should move your upper body over the outside ski, maybe a little later, maybe a little earlier, maybe a little more, maybe a little less exaggerated, okay? Um, this way you will certainly feel a difference each and every turn and that is very, very important when you're trying uh, to find out how much you can lean inside and stuff like that, okay? So it's also how much can you lean inside in the beginning of the turn okay and then the last bit um, that usually helps me a lot when I'm trying to get good free skiing again is almost lift the inside tail on top of the turn this is something that you'll see uh, even top racers do sometimes during races uh, lifting the inside tail on top of the turn really helps you be forward and on the outside in the very beginning of the turn and this again ensures that you're starting the turn the right way uh yeah so i guess that's a wrap <laughs> um if you've got any questions and i hope you do please leave uh, comments below. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you for smashing the thumbs up button. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing. And yeah, that's it. First video ever. Done. I'm out of here. Have a good, I don't know, whatever, day, night. Anyways, have fun. I'm out of here.